The Spanish government announced sweeping spending cuts and tax hikes on Wednesday, and Spaniards reacted with major protests in Madrid. Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy said that sales taxes will increase from 18 to 21 percent, and that value-added taxes on public transportation would rise from 8 to 10 percent. Rajoy also said that the government will slash $80 billion from its spending over the next three years. The government has been forced to enact these austerity measures in order to comply with strict deficit rules imposed by the European Union. However, the people of Spain are unhappy with these decisions. As the measures were announced, riot police grappled to maintain control of miners and their supporters who threw rocks and fought police in the streets of Madrid. The miners were enraged by decreases to their subsidies, and their protest drew tens of thousands of Spaniards who argued that austerity measures are not working. The clashes in the capital city resulted in 23 injuries and 5 arrests. Madrid's loyalty to the European project means that these protests will do nothing to stop the spending cuts and tax increases. Rajoy explained his stance, saying, one has to be realistic. The way to build Europe has never been easy. As European policymakers intensify their efforts to build Europe, some citizens in Spain and other nations will suffer and squirm. In spite of resistance, the quest for a unified Europe will override all other factors and the EU will dictate more and more of the policy of its member states.